In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to take a Visual Builder application through the lifecycle and deploy it across multiple instances of Visual Builder. For that, we're going to use Visual Builder Studio. Over here, we have a project. In this project, we just finished a deployment to our QA environment using this build job. This is leveraging one of the two environments we have defined here. So an environment maps to a Visual Builder instance. We have our dev instance, and we also have a QA instance, which is a separate Visual Builder instance. You can see that we just deployed version 1.3 of an application over there. We can go over here and actually copy the URL and open this application. So this is the application. It has a list with the title Our Doctors list and list of doctors over here. Those uh, doctors are stored in business objects in Visual Builder on this QA instance. You can see this is kind of the live application on this instance. So now let's say we want to modify our application. Maybe we want to modify the title over here. So to modify this application, we're going to go into Visual Builder Studio, into the Visual Designer. And we're going to create a new branch from our remote master. I'm going to create the title change branch and switch to it. Now we can open the page that we want to modify. can see the title that we have right now, and we can modify this title. For example, we can say COVID doctors list and remove the list maybe. Can also change the size here. So we're changing the code of the application. What we're going to do is also create a new version of this application. So to do that, we're gonna go into the application setting Right now it's at version 1.3. We are now creating version 1.4. Now let's push our changes to our Git repository. And then we want to publish those changes into the master branch. We'll do this by clicking the publish changes. And we're gonna go through a merge a request process. Let's add reviewers and publish the changes. Okay, so this creates a merge request for us. Merge request 262. And close this and go back into the Visual Builder Studio interface. And in the merge request, we'll be able to see the new merge request over here. Click on it where we can review the changes we did. So we changed the list here to say COVID doctors and we changed the version to 1.4. If we're okay with the changes, we can approve them and then merge them into the master branch. All right, when we merge into the master branch, this is going to queue up a build job for us called demo package. Demo package is also part of a pipeline that does the package and the deploy steps here. If we go and look at each one of those, demo package job, the configuration here connects to our Git repository to the master branch, and then does a step where we use a visual application packaging step to optimize the application, package it, and then archive the zip files generated from this step. So this is the demo package step here. We can see this is being executed right now. The next step in our pipeline is a deploy step. So the deploy that we are doing automatically here as the next step is a deployment that picks up the artifact from the package step, copies them, and then does a deployment into our dev instance. Okay. Um, 
we are connecting to the dev instance, we are specifying to deploy, for example, with a version in the URL, okay? and we're keeping the existing data in that environment, so in our stage environment. The same step, by the way, can be used to deploy to other environments just by switching over here. But we're going to do it a little differently so we can see the deployment step is being done right now. And the deployment finished. And again, this is a deployment to our development environment. So if we'll go back to our environments look at the dev environment, we can see that just now we deployed version 1.4 and we can go over and look at the application over here. So we can see over here, this is version 1.4 and we have the right title, COVID Doctors. This has still not deployed it, of course, to our QA instance. If we go back to our QA instance and we do a refresh, this would still show us the old title. So in order to do the deployment to our QA instance, we're going to use another build job. This is the QA deploy. As you can see, this is protected. Only specific users are allowed to run this job. I'm allowed to run it, so I'm going to start it. And while it's running, I'm going to show you the configuration here. Again, we're picking up the artifact from the same step that does the packaging of the demo application. So the same zip files are being used. And the step here does the same Oracle deployment, but this time to our QA instance. Okay. The other difference here is that we're deploying now without a version in the URL, meaning we're deploying it on the a live type of app URL. And we're also keeping the existing environment data over there. So we can see this deployment just finished. If we go back to our environments and we look at the QA environment, we can see that just now we deployed version 1.4. And indeed, if we go back to this page and we'll do a reload, you'll see that the title that was our doctors list is now COVID doctors. The data is still here and everything is ready with the next version of the application. 